What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I just want to show you how to read the data from your campaigns. So after you let it run maybe for a week or two and you want to see what uh, demographic, what location, what um, <clears throat> area, time period, whatever it is worked best, uh, I will show you how to do that. And then uh, how to actually make the changes and focus on those specific groups. So uh, just like in Google, we will go to reports tab here. So a slightly different option, we had uh, dimensions. Um, so these two are kind of similar, uh, but in this case, we can't really combine everything together like we could in Google. So if you're using the reports tab, um, you can look at them individually. So for example, if we look at targeting, we can look at age and gender. And then what it's going to do is it's going to upload in an Excel file for us and we can see the results from there. So we can see, hey, here's the conversions that we got. And those conversions mainly came from someone ages 25 to 44. Right, those were the two age groups that people mostly converted in. So what do you do next? If you let this run for a week or two and you, and, you, and you have a considerable number of clicks and impressions, you can start focusing on those people now. So you don't have to run ads and get useless clicks from people that just don't convert, right? So this is where you would get that information. It would literally give you this um, Excel file, which would tell you which, in this case, um, age and gender was the highest converting, okay? Um, so the other option you could also go if you want to see the data is to dimensions tab and here you can select what you want. This is kind of a shorter route. Uh, you can go on search term, time of day, time of month, kind of again similar like we did in Google. Okay. Uh, and if you click search term right now we have nothing but it will tell you what that search term was that triggered the ad based on the keyword that you have. So useful, especially if you're using broad match types because those are incredibly broad. So you would need to be able to uh, figure out what people are putting in and which search terms are are um, applicable to what you're actually selling and which ones aren't right and that's how you would do it so yeah so i i just went back to reports for a second here's all the different other things you can do so you would input the ad group the ad the keyword uh and then here you know you all that stuff i don't even i don't even use product partition i'm not even sure what that is but really mainly i use these four so or these three actually so i use location um pretty much the same the difference between location and geographic is basically remember how we discussed when we first set up our campaign uh whether you're targeting people in the country or targeting people who search for the country that's the difference here so geographic is just people that search for that country um so basically i would really look at just these two uh, age age gender and location so i guess three uh, and and i would base my um, decisions based off of that so after you do that the way now you make changes to that and focus is you would go to a particular campaign so let's go to this one for example and now we need to adjust our bid so we'll go into settings and whatever you see uh, has the highest result that's what you should kind of change and make more prominent okay so for example we notice that most of our success comes from maybe new york so then we would put in new york here and we can either increase the bid for that or we could decrease the bid for everything else because if everything else is shown to not be successful and not give us results we don't want to waste money on useless clicks that don't convert and that's what we would do here so we would either increase the bid of new york or we would decrease the bid of everything else okay uh, so the cool thing about here is being just makes it much easier for you to change your demographics it's right there it's this demographic in google you had to go through to audiences you had to click plus 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 a bunch of times and make all those changes here it's really easy uh, you can just adjust the bids here and if you don't want a particular um, age just put minus 100 oh, minus 90 i guess is the maximum and chances that they'll see are that they'll see your ad are way way lower now right 90 percent lower um so that's basically how you would do it here's your uh genders and that's your location and i mean that's that's pretty much it um for for ad schedule here's your time by the way as well so if you notice that you know from 12 to 2 p.m your ads are getting the most conversions change that here okay before making that kind of really heavy focus i would let my ad and my and my campaigns run for a bit longer maybe a week or two may not even be enough to make that snap judgment because then you're leaving away all those other times right from two onwards and then up until 12. so you're giving away 22 hours a day you get the idea uh, run some tests to figure out what works for you but that's i mean that's basically it pretty simple stuff if you guys have any questions leave them down below uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe for those of you that have subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.